ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be getting into the Bible, and I'm going to be giving a devotional and talking about something that the Bible mentions a few times, and I want to get into it a little bit further. And what is that? The, the thing that I want to talk about is Jesus. Jesus died on the cross, and he spent three days and three nights in the grave, but he also descended into the lower parts of the earth, and he went to hell. And there was a reason why he did that. And some people say, Jesus went to hell? Really? Are you really saying that he did? It's in the scriptures, and I want to talk about, yes, he went to hell, why he went there, and what is the purpose for us as believers. So without further ado, I'm going to be jumping right into the book of Ephesians chapter 4. And I believe that God has a word for you today. But before I get into the Word of God and give this devotional, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button below. And if you could put a like on this video as well, it would help it out a lot. It would bring more traffic to this channel, and it would be a blessing to me. So thank you very much. So anyway, Ephesians chapter 4, and I want to read verse 8. What does it say? Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now, verse 9 of Ephesians chapter 4 says this, Now that he ascended, when he went to heaven, what is it? But that he also descended, he went down, first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above the heavens, that he might fill all things. So what did he do? Jesus, he died and he descended. He also ascended, he rose from the grave, and then he ascended into heaven. And that's where he is, that's where he is right now. He's set at the right hand of the throne of God in perpetuity, and it'll always be that way. But he did descend into hell for a short period of time. It says the lower parts of the earth. Now, in the center of the earth, it's the hottest part of the earth. It is extremely hot. Hell very likely could be in the center of the earth. You see lava come out from volcanic eruptions. We see these things happening all the time. So I believe it's a very high possibility hell could be right in the center of the earth. And it says Jesus descended into the lower parts of the earth. It wasn't just the grave. He went literally into hell. Now you say, why would Jesus do that? Why would he go to hell in the first place? One, he created the heavens, the earth. He created hell. He created every place. And he can be anywhere. He's omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. He can be anywhere at any time, at any point. It doesn't matter. So he went down there for a purpose. What was the purpose? I want to get into that a little bit further, but what does it say? He sa it says that he descended into the lower parts of the earth, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 9. That's hell. And verse 10 says, he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. He wanted to fill all things, the power of his glory, the redemptive blood that he shed for you and for me, that we would have eternal life. But he descended into hell. Now, so what did he do when he went there? Well, first of all, he took the keys of death and hell and sin, and he dropped it off in hell so that all our sins would be completely 100% forgiven, washed, past, present, and future. So that's one beautiful thing that he did. But what else did he do? I want to read 1 Peter chapter 3 in verse 18 and 19 because it gets into it in a little bit more specificity. What does it say? For Christ also hath once suffered for sins. He died on the cross, shed his blood. And that was the redeeming atonement that he did and he gave for our sins. So Christ also hath once suffered for our sins, the just for the unjust that he might bring us to God. This is why he did it. We were alienated from the Lord. So he died on the cross, shed his blood, so that we could, you know, get back into the good graces of the Lord. It was bridged. The gap was bridged through the cross. So Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. He died in the flesh. He was incarnate Christ. He was God-man. And he was quickened by the Spirit. He had his resurrect, resurrected body at that point. Now, verse number 19 says, 
by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. That's hell, what I just talked about, when he descended into the lower parts of the earth. He descended down there, dropped the sins off, all our sins <laughs> in hell, and then he preached to the spirits in prison. Spirits in prison are demonic spirits. These spirits are in hell. These are evil spirits. These are spirits that broke their own habitation. They went against their own habitation. What did they do? This, these are the demonic spirits that before the, before the flood had occurred, they went and they had intimacy with the sons of God, with women. And they were having children, Nephilim, these giants in the earth. And these demons were doing evil things. And because of it, they began to create so much evil and so much confusion on the earth. And God saw the evil and he flooded the earth and he judged those spirits before the flood that did such an egregious act having sex with women, demons. And this is why this doesn't occur, because if it does, these demons are judged right away. They get thrown into hell. He preached to them when he descended, and he told them that their impending doom was going to be the lake of fire, and that because of their actions and because of what happened, they were going to stay there, and they were not going to be let loose on the earth, but their judgment was already set in stone. Now, there's demons on the earth, you know, a third of the angels fell and they're still roaming about. And there's demonic minions everywhere, Satan's minions traveling about, attacking, harassing. But it says he preached to the spirits in prison. And this is what he did. And this is why he went down there. And you know what? He was there for a short period of time. And you know what? Then he resurrected, dropped the sins of the world off of all of us in hell, preached to the spirits in prison, went there for a short period of time. And what did he preach? He preached that he had died. He was coming out of that grave in three days and that they were going to be judged for their egregious act. And he, and he did exactly that. And then he came back up out of the grave. Now, you say, are you sure that this occurred? Well, the Bible says so. And what does it say in the book of Psalm chapter 139? It says a little bit more about God's power and what he can do. What does it say in verse 8 of Psalm 138? It says, If I ascend up in heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. So what is it saying? No matter what, Psalm 139 and verse 8. You know what? If I go to heaven, you're there. If I had descended into hell, you were there. No matter where I go, you are there. That's the omnipresent power of God. So Jesus did spend a little time in hell, but it was for preaching. It didn't bother him at all. He's Nothing can harm or affect the Lord Jesus Christ. But he had a purpose, and that purpose was to sh drop the sins of the world off and preach to the spirits that were there, the demonic, rebellious demons. And he also was going to come out of that grave, which he did on the third day, and he rose out of that grave. He is in heaven, and you know what? There's a great gulf between heaven and hell, so the saints that are in heaven cannot see into hell, and the people in hell cannot see into heaven, but God is everywhere, so he can travel. If he wants to go to hell, he can go there. If he wants to go to heaven, he can go wherever he wants, because he's an omnipresent God who created everything. And it's too bad that the demons, these demons, got so evil. Not only, they had everything. They had eternity with the Lord. And they had to go with Satan and rebel and try to rise up and be up like God. <laughs> you know what? But the imminent doom was, was going to happen. But it happened a lot quicker. Now they're already in hell because of their egregious sin. But here's the good news. If you're a believer in Christ, you received him as your Lord and Savior, you are redeemed, you are washed, you are blessed, and we will not go to that place, hell, because hell was prepared for what? The devil and his angels. It wasn't prepared for anybody else, Christians or other people. Christians won't go to hell, but it wasn't created for mankind at all. 
And how do you avoid hell? All you got to do is receive Christ, repent of your sins, accept him into your heart. The Bible says you'll have eternal life. So I hope this devotional blessed you and I answered some questions. Maybe some people, you know, didn't understand how Jesus would go to hell, why he would go to hell, but this is what the scriptures say. And so I want to extrapolate those truths to you. I believe God has a great plan for your life. And he went to hell, came out and rose and he suffered for you because he loves you so much. And he wants you to be with him in heaven for all eternity. If this devotion encouraged you, I want to ask you if you could put a comment below and may God richly bless you as you continue to follow him. Have a good day. God bless.